Hey everyone, Trina here, back with day 48 of the Mixed Media Project. We're going to start off real strong today with putting down some black stencil marks. I had an idea. I thought that maybe we could, if I put down the marks first and then print over them with the jelly plate, that might be something fun. So we're going to play with that idea today. Oh, we're going to make a mess, apparently. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think I'm going to print over this with um, some more yellow okra and the jelly plate. So I'm mixing up um, some unbleached titanium with the okra to kind of bring it down a little bit. Just mixing right here on the jelly plate. That's probably way too much paint. Let's take a little bit of that off and roll it out. Still too much paint. Actually, you know what? Let's just keep rolling it. Let's just scrub a little bit off. Following up a little bit what we did yesterday by using our catalyst wedge and other tools to create marks within this image. I'm really liking using this catalyst wedge. Um, what happens if we do? Let's bring some of that down a little bit. See what happens with bring that all the way over. Maybe sort of another line up here. All right. Let's print this and see what we get. We've got the bold black marks there. I wonder how this is going to react to it. If it'll be any fun. That's different. I think I'm gonna try to play around with the stencil a little bit. See what happens when we. Okay, that's way too much. <laughs> or maybe not. It might be fun in that color. It's not gonna print everywhere. Let's see what we get. Okay, I really like that, at least on the plate. Let's put it down. I do want it to cover a little bit of the black. Really just experimenting with printing layers over layers in this sort of graphic uh, idea of stencils. A tree stencil is really fun. I w wish I could find it on Amazon. I'm still looking for you guys. Ooh, that's... I like that. So here I'm mixing up a little Payne's Gray, Cobalt Blue, and some white. I thought it might be kind of a nice gray-blue color to put through there. Um, this one I think we're going to do... I want to roll it out and maybe use a stencil. I think a little bit of stencil through there might be fun. Um, not a bit of yellow on there, but I'm okay with it. Maybe that's actually kind of different. Okay, 
so what if we just uh, got the stencil there. Let's try a different part of it. Maybe. Let me, I'm going to come in and take out Ooh, it's hard working with your left hand. <laughs> Eeks. Okay, that's not working very well. So I don't know that I want it to be that big. So, I'm just easily remove some of it and give me a better edge than that. Okay, let's see what we get. I don't know where I want to put it. I'll put it right there. Okay, let's put a little bit more of that stencil through here. Oh, that's not what I wanted. What am I even doing? I'm going to add some, some white in there. I wonder if I can make the whole thing with just stencils. Layers and layers of stencils, maybe. Let's bring some more of that white down through here. Okay, that's very much a tree shape, but... Oh, I, I like it. I like it. I actually really like it so much. I'm going to continue... Continue this down a little bit. So I've mixed up this ivory, or I'm sorry, ivory black and yellow ochre to make this sort of dark green. And then I've got these stamps that I made from foam that I just drew back in, or etched. I guess is a word I'm looking for. Anyway, it's just craft foam that sticks to foam board. So let's put some of this on here. Um, do we wanna, let's use the roller. Just a little bit right here on the side. Just kind of see if I like it. I'm just gonna press that on there. Ooh, that's fun. And then maybe what do I do next? I wish it were a little skinnier. Let's um I'm gonna wipe some of this off. I just want that little, little piece right there. If it goes a little bit more, that's fine, I guess. I like that. Okay, I'm gonna come in with some ivory black. I wanna make some, use the stencil here. Sort of a dry brush, maybe. This isn't wet at all. Just picked up some paint. Let's see how that looks. Okay, I like that. And now I'm gonna add a little bit more of this tree stencil here. Or the branch stencil. Kind of 
Kind of try to mimic what we've got going on up there. It's a little light, but I mean, I could make it darker. Mm, I think I like it that way. Let's come in with the ink tints in the paints gray and kind of make some marks through here. I think that's maybe put one through here as well. Okay, I'm just going to take a pencil and use the stencil right here. This is the Derwent Onyx pencil. It's pretty dark, but I don't, I just want to kind of mimic this a little bit, but I didn't want it to be too dark. Some little subtle marks through there. And I might put some over here too, actually. I'm gonna add some black, it's a little black mark. Just kind of make this go across here a little bit. And then I think I wanna put some right here. I just covered up a little bit of what I did there, but that's all right. Um, do I want to make them connected? No, I don't think I do. Okay, I'm going to come in with some Mars Black. And I just want to do a little bit of stenciling right through here. This black is much darker. Just needs a little bit more dark, I think. Oh, that works. That works a lot better. And then I've got this little section over here that I think needs. Okay. To kind of mimic those lines and bring it back together. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of this Sahara yellow in here because I feel like it needs A little pop of something. I don't know. I don't know what that is. We're gonna try this and see how we like it. No going back once you put it down. It doesn't need a lot. I'm thinking just in a few spots just to just to elevate that color a little bit. Maybe just some you know what maybe Maybe just some lines through here. I like that. Okay, I think this one's done. Um, I'm loving the tree stencil. I kind of like how this approach of this sort of blue and bringing that color up into this area and bringing that white down. I think that's a good combo. Um, I like this area right here where the ochre went over that black paint marker. Um, love this. And I think the pops of yellow really work with that blue. They're very subtle, but I think they work. Um, let's look at it with a matte. And here it is with the matte. Um, I think it looks good. I really like this part. Like, I think that stencil is fabulous. And it works well with the other stencils. Amazing that I made this. I mean, not amazing to me that there's really very, very little brushwork in here. It was mostly made with the jelly plate stencils and color. So that's kind of an interesting way to look at it. 
It's more printmaking than it is maybe painting, but I'm fine with that. I think it has some really good areas um, that would work on a larger scale, which is kind of the purpose of me doing this, is that I'm going to start painting um, in a larger scale soon. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Click over here to see this video. And I will see you tomorrow for the next one. Thanks so much. Bye.